I'm Mike Stanton. It's September 22nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Municipal Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here. Hi, Mike. We're on site at the BAM Municipal Leadership Forum in California, and it's been an interesting week in the markets. Well, we weren't in the office. Uh, fairly significant reaction to the Fed's latest meeting. What did you hear? Definitely. There were a lot of factors that led to a lot of weakness in the markets this week. Treasury's uh, tenure got back to a 450, which we haven't seen since uh, pre-financial crisis in 2007. Uh, Muni's followed suit. They were down about 20 basis points uh, cheaper across the curve, and and liquidity got, um, you know, after Wednesday, I would say liquidity was pretty weak. So the, the market is vulnerable, I'd say, right now for a few reasons, away from, obviously, the, you know, the Fed on Wednesday, uh, they paused, but there was uh, kind of a hawkish sentiment uh, with the statement, and so, um, uh, Muni's, you know, we're down 15 basis points just uh, that day alone. You also have, uh, you know, fund flows continue to be negative, and they're actually starting to accelerate. Uh, so that also will put some pressure on the market. And the calendar uh, is building. So the 30-day visible is at 10 billion, which is, you know, I think the average year to date has been about 8 billion on on uh, so slightly above. And then October historically has been the heaviest issuance month of the year. So uh, I think. We've got a, you know, from a technical standpoint, the market's uh, vulnerable. And as you said, that new issue market is building this week. We have an interesting BAM yeah. insured calendar. A lot of munis did not come to market last week. That's been the history uh, recently. People have been staying out of the market during Fed weeks. Next week's calendar is mounting again, uh, $83 million from the Coatesville area school district. That's going to be priced by RBC Capital Markets in Pennsylvania. Uh, $36 million from the North Fork Bend Water Authority. That's going to be priced by Raymond James in Texas. And uh, we'll see what happens on the competitive market. Yeah. Uh, more content to come from the BAM Municipal Leadership Forum. Some really great insights from uh, people over the last couple of days that we'll be sharing in the next couple of weeks. Have a great weekend.